Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing good. Uh, I feel like I like my music is a tiny bit too loud, maybe. There we go. That should be better. So we are back in this little world here. Um in the last stream, we spent some time here reworking on the paths with which I did not update. Also, I cannot aim, apparently. So we're just gonna start with that, updating the the little paths. Uh, that way, the red thing. Wait, where am I going? Where we're going. Um. Oh. Hmm, that's funny. Mangrove appears as red on maps. That's strange. Wait, which one is. Hmm. I did not expect that. That's... That's... Strange. Uh, but... It's not that big of a deal. It still looks good on the map. Uh, better if I saw where I was clicking. Um, so yeah. The paths look a lot better. Uh, but we're not gonna spend more time over there. In this uh, little village there, we're gonna spend more time here in the Ice Spikes Fortress, which I have worked on a lot uh, since the last time we uh, we played on here. Uh, I finished the walls around the entire place, so it I think they ended it ended like around here, so I finished it around the entire place. It reaches oops, all the way in the back here. Um, then, uh, we need to figure out something to put here. Maybe some kind of a little tower. But I figured out what I'm going to put here. I'm going to remove all the land here. Fill it with water. And have some kind of frozen ships thingy. So it's going to be kind of a duck. Okay, it's gonna be a little bay here, and it's gonna reach up to here, because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with that little area. So, yeah, that's gonna be kind of where they go on the ships, something like that. Or I just thought of something. Maybe they could be floating ships. Yeah, 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 I think that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna fit in well with the mage tower back there. Which we, uh, which we worked on in the last dream here. Um, yeah, floating ships, like flying ships would be cool. Because floating ships, technically, any ship that is not sunk is a floating ship. Because it floats on, on the water. I meant floating in mid-air. Uh, but yeah, so we worked. Uh, we finished the wall around the entire place. I also... Change the walls inside. They're not the same now at the moment. They're just just uh, nether bricks. I might change it to have some red nether bricks just to keep with the theme here. Uh, but there might not be. Uh, well, there, there's probably not gonna be um, any of those. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do that at a later point. Um, there might not be some of those spikes and the fire and stuff like that. Might not have that here. Um, but yeah. That's what has changed here. And also I've worked a bit more on those little uh, catacombs type, type of things. Is that catacombs or catacombs? I think it does. A, it, it, it ends the same way as tomb, but it doesn't rhyme with it. I think. And uh, yeah, right here was the... Uh, the place where I just put some uh, some strays to make a thumbnail. I now have some custom thumbnails for each one of the villages. It makes a lot more sense to, to uh, have it like that. 
Um, but yeah, I'm uh, slowly but surely chipping away at that little project here. I, I like the way it looks, having it like be like a spiral. It's not exactly how I envisioned this, uh, this area at first, but it really fits it well, and I like it. I like it. Uh, but we're really, really close to the end for that uh, that place here, because like it's gonna go about here. Actually, I was kind of doing that when I right before I started streaming. Actually, well, that uh, I was working on that, and then I realized that I wanted to make a thumbnail. I was actually here to make a thumbnail. Uh, and I was just building instead. Uh, so let's just... I, I changed that. It's super annoying, but my middle click, not it, it, it no longer works really well. It's uh, sad times indeed. I have to scroll like a peasant. There we go. This one needs to go one block deeper. I'm gonna need also to figure out what I put uh, inside those, because right now it's just three blocks deep with a wall of uh, snow at the end. But, uh, yeah, I need to figure out some way to... Like, to put something inside. I'm not sure that beds would be the right thing. Actually, we can think of that. Just try and find some blocks that could represent something meaningful. For this place. Hmm... like I just tried is that unless I change like I put a full block here I can't really put okay yeah I can only put them in the middle unless I change the archway so it might not be ideal might not be uh, Crimson root on anything? No. Hmm. Oh, triggers. That could be fun. Hello, Devon. How are you doing? Oh, just realized I okay. I usually watch chat on um, on YouTube. Also, my mic is a bit far away from my mouth. <coughs> I usually yeah watch the chat on YouTube, uh, but I was watching it on OBS, so not ideal. Not the way I like to do it. Delaying with a crying baby, uh, uh, dealing with a crying baby, I guess. That's what you meant before autocorrect decided otherwise. Um, oh, crying obsidian would be nice behind here, I think. Also, maybe nylium would also be nice. Yeah, crying baby. That's sad. I hope you figure out how to uh, stop the baby from crying. 
how to deal with the problem of the baby. Beyond, you know, being a baby, because that's uh, already a lot for them. Uh, I gotta test something out real quick, because I know they explode pretty, pretty big, these little things, but... Come on. Can you just stop being weird? Uh, it's uh, glowstone dust. It's gonna be here. That's where it is. I broke the game. I know. I know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's 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 definitely it's all my fault. There's nothing wrong. Oh no, it's glowstone blocks. Yeah, because there's nothing wrong with the game itself. Um, oh, but what if I... Okay. But just clicking on them is enough to cause trouble. You don't know what that block is? It's a respawn anchor. That one? It's the, uh... Nether spawn point. It's been in the game for a little while now. Like three or four years, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's the kind of thing that y you can need it in some specific context, but yeah, you don't necessarily use it all that much. Um, but now I'm thinking of just putting some Krang Obsidian with some Skulk, uh, Skulk Veins on top, and what if I put some Skulk Blocks? Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Gives it a bit of a otherworldly vibe. You're still getting into the Nether update, yeah. I mean, it's it's a very recent update. <laughs> was the nether update? I think it was like three years ago? Maybe? It was when we started Ripple Season 3? I think? Ripple, yeah, Ripple 3 was the... Last week is your first time in the deep dark. 116 was 2020. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 2020. When we started season 3 of Ripple. So that's. Uh, yeah, it started at the beginning of summer 2020. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I. I it, 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 it all makes sense to me now. I uh, found the chronology of my uh, life once more, so everything's fine. Uh, okay, so that's cool. We have a design for the inside of those. Gonna replace it. Just so they're empty now, but yeah, we could. Although I think I'm gonna make it deeper. It's just gonna go a bit deeper than that. I. 
I really want them to have the, just this feeling of like when you look at these ones, they're right there. There, you don't see the, the not the bottom, but the the the, the end of those. In your mind, you're you're still thirty and not thirty-two. <laughs> yeah, uh, for a very very long time in my mind, we were still in twenty fifteen. I think twenty fifteen ended in twenty twenty for me. Like the the, I don't know if it makes sense what I'm gonna say, but like the the year the current year was always twenty fifteen until I had to just stop and. Think, no, wait, no, it's not 2015, it's like 2018 or something. Um, but yeah, 2015 was my year that it was the, the constantly the, 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 the same year. I don't know if it makes sense, though I'm saying it. But yeah. Um, so today I wanted to work a bit more on this tower here. Minecraft 1.8.9. Wow. That's, uh, yeah. We're not getting any younger, are we? <laughs> uh, you have something like that that happened? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I want to work a bit more on that tower, but I'm not kind of never happy with it. It's super annoying. Um, so there's one thing that's going to happen. Well, okay, no, f first of all, I put at first it was snow on the bottom and then ice on top. Uh, opposite, the other way around. Ice, base, then snow. Uh, but then I changed it, and I'm not sure why I changed it. Um, God, you got the beginning of the stream, yeah? It's good to have you. It's good to have you. How how are you doing? Uh, except for, you know, the, the crying baby. Having to deal with uh, those little creatures. Um, yeah, but yeah, I changed it so that now it's uh, snow on the bottom and then ice on top. It just doesn't feel like it's uh, structurally sound. So now I'm thinking of kind of making... I kind of like to imply that like down here it's ice also, but it's covered with snow. Having a bit more like uh, balcony type things. Stuff like that. Uh, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. My, uh, my, uh, you know, the, the, the social part of the, uh, the holiday is over. I do not have any more social obligations. So, yeah, that's, that's good. That is good. It's something that always, always drains me. Drains all the, the energy from me. It's uh, really not my favorite part of the, the holiday, I, uh, yeah, don't deal all that well with uh, family gatherings and stuff like that, though it was, for the most part, it was fun, but yeah, sometimes it can get, uh, you know, annoying and uh, unpleasant. There, there are some... Uh, Slightly unpleasant elements in my family life. 
uh, but they were not that bad this year, so that's uh, that's always fun. How about you? Did you have a lot of uh, family gatherings and stuff like that? Yeah, get the draining parts, yeah. Oh, no worries, no worries. I, I was just talking about, like... This, th there were some uh, annoying elements that uh, make the holidays a bit... Or not, not even the holidays, but like family gatherings a bit harder. But... Not too bad this year. Not too bad this year. They uh, managed to get a hold of themselves and, and, you know, not be too much. So does that look good? It does look a lot better, but it needs to be... Bigger here. Uh, any plans for New Year? I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. Probably gonna hang out with some friends. It's what I usually do. Made awesome progress here. Well, thank you. Thank you. I think. Well, first, one thing I should do here is add a bit of color variation here in this wall because it was getting a bit repetitive. Like it's 1999. Sure, sure. How about you? You got plans for the for the holy uh, for the uh, new year? And how were your holidays? Holiday celebrations? Did you do much uh, much stuff for? Y2K here, it wasn't that bad, well, there was kind of the, the, the usual Y2K panic, uh, but, uh, like, people just knew, like, yeah, no, they, it's, like, planes won't fall from the sky, and, and, like, none of that crap's gonna actually happen, like, they, mostly because they were already saying that they had already figured out how to solve that problem. I mean, it was a big problem, but 
it was kind of easy to figure out how to solve it. Um, and once that was done, like, yeah, people weren't really scared or anything. <laughs> Though there's going to be another one, another Y2K problem. Um, but it's already being fixed quite easily, but still, like, there's uh, there's going to be s another one happening. I, I don't remember what years. I think it's in the... Maybe 2027 or 2028, there's going to be another a computer progress problem like something that they really didn't really think of uh, when they they uh, programmed stuff and when they figured out how they were going to organize information but like it's as I said, it's, it's already being being fixed. We're filling down uh, at the dinner. <laughs> the the sister in law in question is it the one that you uh, have a harder time uh, spending time with, or is it another one? Like, um, I don't know how many in-laws you have, so... Yeah, basically the, the problem that's gonna happen that they have to deal with now is that the way they calculate time is... Uh, it's just a number, and it's the number of seconds since a certain point in time. Okay, that's the one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's okay to just l let go and let time pass and, and, and not cause anything. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, so basically, the what I was saying, the... the new Y2K that's gonna happen, then again, like, there, there's no need to panic about those those things, but, like, it's gonna be, um, yeah, as I said, it's it's a, the, the, the number of seconds since a specific date, I think it's in the 50s, something like that, and at some point that number uh, be will become so big that it's gonna uh, overflow, so it's gonna turn into a negative number, because of the way that computers store information, so they kind of overlooked that part when they came up with that system back in the days. And yeah. But yeah, it's this. It. It, <laughs> it would have nuked ourselves into its extinction. Uh, that point. That's a very good point. That might. And that might happen. You know. <laughs> you never know. With the way that everything's going. <laughs> Let's hope not. But yeah, sometimes, you know, in, in the holidays, it's... Uh, I'm kind of jumping between conversations, but yeah, it's sometimes it's okay to just... Not let anything get to you and, and uh, just... Not... Uh, I don't know how to say it, like, not get involved in, in whatever trouble is stirring or stuff like that. Yeah, like in, in my case, it's the, uh, my, uh, my mother's new uh, partner, 
he's a, he's he's annoying, but he's not. He, he wasn't that bad. I think he kind of figured out that his attempt at getting closer to my brother and me, he kind of finally figured out that it wasn't gonna work. But basically, he is he's a someone who I think only learned to interact with people through uh, like trying to impress other people. So like. Whatever he said involved a certain amount of, of bragging all the time. It, it it wasn't like like th there didn't seem to be any ill intention ever or most of the time, but still like still annoying. Just like having someone choose to say that stuff instead of you know staying silent. It's, uh, yeah. At, at, at some point, he bragged about his heart rate. The, the, you see the, the... The kind of character that we have here. <laughs> and, like, I'm, I'm not a, a, a fit... A pro-fitness person, and I, like, I... I do not care about that. Yeah, he... Well, no, I... You... It, you could inform me here, a, a one-upper, I think, is someone that if you say something, they have to add something like, yeah, yeah no, but I did even better than that. Am I right? Is that a, what a one-upper is? Like, you, you, you say something, they, they had it better, okay. He's not like that. It's just, he will sometimes randomly bring up a subject just to show how much he knows about that subject, even though no one cares or it's just awkward. Like, it's just being weird. Like, we weren't talking about that. So he kind of likes to... He just likes to show off, but not like... It's never, I'm better than you. It's just, look at how cool I am. Or look at how special I am. Because that's the other thing. <laughs> yeah. But the, see that? At least it would be somehow coherent. Because, like... Your it, it sticks to a certain subject, but for him, he was just like we weren't talking about that, you know. <laughs> like he was, I think he was talking about like he had an exam and uh, the nurse was impressed by his heart rate, or he had to do a bit of a exercise to get to get his heart pumping to get a good read or something like it, it was really something weird that like no one no one asked <laughs> we, we didn't ask about that so yeah weird little dude and and the annoying part was that he uh like he would kind of always try more next time <laughs> like the like it 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 didn't work when i bragged about that so i got to find another thing to brag about that's gonna finally impress them yeah cool story roll yeah but the thing is like you can't really be hostile cuz like that's that's not good Yeah, I can't really just uh, be mean to him. It, it's not how it would work the best. Um... Oh, it can. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, exactly. Exactly, I don't want to... Like, she, she she, likes him, you know, and, and he's not a bad person. He's, he's just annoying, but he's not a bad dude. So, yeah. But, 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 he was... Like, he was chill the last... Uh, last time we saw him. Like, no, no made-up stories or anything, no, uh... Like, he, he kept things a bit more fun, so that, that was good. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, you gather it with a bucket. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird mechanic. Unusual. But it does add a bit of... Uh, oops. Variation to snow. Yeah, it, it's fun to have another type of snow. Like, I... I wouldn't have liked to have to use like quartz or stuff like that. Because like other than that, what well, calcite could work maybe a bit, but yeah, even then it's not it's not the same color palette exactly. And I think for whites it's more for the, the white colors. It's kind of important to Stick to a very similar palette, like quartz is a bit too pink. So it's not gonna fit all that well with that. Yeah, well, noisy to me is not that bad, like powder snow is a bit noisier than regular snow. And that, that works well, but it sticks with, like, it's white and, well, slightly blue-white. Yeah, the bluish hue. That wouldn't work with uh, the other white blocks. else could we have here? Um, mm -mm -mm. Does that look good? I don't like how it looks. I know there's something off with that that thing. So I think I'm gonna give up on the bottom two layers for now worst case scenario you know i can always go back to it change some stuff because i can't find a way to make it into something that i like i don't think it's too much blue ice because i'm well i need to have like i can't just put more of the the packed ice you think it's too blue yeah well i i get what you mean uh let me just throw that in the carpet yeah. uh, and grab some ice where's ice the middling block it's three letters i can type it um okay i don't feel like it's too much i could add some more regular ice and eventually go on the other side and cover it but um, I don't know it just feels I think it's just that ice doesn't fit as the base material here because it won't contrast with the, the, the pillars here so that's the thing that I started saying then interrupted myself while saying it um typical typical me um but yeah I want these spikes to still feel like they're the structure like they are part of the structure of the tower the pillars are constant the what yeah
Yeah, but I want them to be different. And the pillars themselves, well, I could rework them a bit, adding more... More regular ice and blue ice to all the pillars here. But yeah, I think ice as a building material should only be used for the pillars, because that's how I use them everywhere. I don't use ice as walls anywhere other than that. So that might be it. I think we figured out the problem. But, for the moment, I'm, I'm just going to work on the entire tower. And we'll get back to that eventually. Um, so, I was... Uh, first, you could use another brick at the basement. Um, mm, making the nether brick as the base material and more iced over, like as we go up. Um, I kind of had the other way around in mind, like it's a, like the 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 the, the tower would be the entire structure would be the nether brick tower, but it would be covered in snow and ice at the base, and the higher we go, the less. No and ice there is, and eventually, at the end, it's just the nether brick tower sticking out. That's kind of the idea that I have in mind for that. So... Uh, but... What I want to do is make it a bit bigger, because right now, that's... That's too small. That won't work. Yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so it would be... 11. Give me a second. Just gonna look at what an 11 block wide circle would be. So 5, 1, 1. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm building it in, in survival and it's taking me ages, I'm building that in creative, so... Ah. There we go. Yeah, since I'm making it in creative, it's it's alright. I can always change it around. I mean, I've done it already once with... Uh, when I switched the bottom and top parts around. Yeah, I think... Sorry, I kind of uh, stopped talking for a moment there. But I... Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just... Like, the, the more I think of it, the more I'm, I'm just gonna tear down the entire thing. Just keep the five pillars. I'm gonna build the full tower just to have the shape. And then I'm gonna work on the... Uh, the different layers and the, the different uh, levels of the tower. I think that's gonna be the best course of action. Kinda sucks tearing down everything that I've built so far, but you know, not that big a deal. You know what? I don't know if you know that about me, 
but I'm a big fan of the fill command. Did you know that? No, uh, mm, five like this. So yeah, you might have heard that part about me. But I think it's like the best command ever. Did I did I say that before? Or did you see me use it before? I haven't really used blue ice all that much and it's good because it's gonna free blue ice to uh for me to use it more in the pillars and in the the other various ice structures that we have I, I was just, uh, well, I, I decided to clear the blue ice everywhere. And I'm just gonna, well, I'm, I'm not sure you stepped away, like, when you stepped away. But, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just remove the blue ice everywhere for now. And I also, you know, I was making a joke about not being sure if you knew that I was a big fan of uh, the Phil command. command not Phil Collins you're confused now dev I, I have uh, very, very uh, neutral feelings towards Bill Collins and 
Um, your brain is scrambled. The the baby is acting like a baby, being erratic and noisy. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's one of the biggest challenges. Like, well, communication is hard even with people that you know that can talk. Even then, communication is hard. <laughs> so, imagine if they only know one word and what they what they control and what they use to convey meaning is using that word, but at, at a very different volume. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not easy. That is not easy. Got rid of the blue eyes, yeah. Uh, I don't know yet, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make the entire tower out of uh, out of nether bricks. I'm gonna make the whole thing, and then I'm gonna cover it with ice. So I'm uh, right now. I'm clearing out. Actually, I could just clear it out. Uh, snow block. Uh, could just do this, do that here. Won't break anything if I stay high enough. Which could sound very funny as a sentence, depending on the context. <laughs> Yeah, the, the plan is not clear yet. So, how old is uh, baby number one now? And uh, is baby number one Adapting well to uh, being an older sibling. Do they like the uh, the extra responsibility? <laughs> Not sure there's a lot of responsibility, but uh, the new role maybe would be a better better way of saying it. Oops, no, that can stay here. Love being the bigger sister, that's cool. That is cool.
no lichen doesn't get broken by water. That's cool. Yeah. There's a, a lot less things that get broken by water. Like most of the new stuff that gets introduced in the game doesn't break with water. Probably sh um, I think that the skull veins probably don't get broken by water either. Yeah. You can probably, yeah, you can waterlog it. That was a bad idea. Okay, it didn't flood everything. Oops. <laughs> Be right back. No problem. Nether bricks, replace air. I can go a lot further down than 20 blocks. Not sure why. I'm going to pick 35. Five. Actually. I'm not even close to the limit, so let's go for 50. Mm. Okay, that works. Uh, so, same thing here. And here I have to. Minus two here. What did you do? Remove the two from here and I put it here. So now it's in the other direction. And we have a bigger wall that reaches all the way to the floor. Perfect. And these ones, I just have to remove the adjustments. Both coordinates. And we can fill it all the way down to the floor. That's going to be the center of the tower. I got these ones. What did I do? Uh, 
I don't need that in my inventory. Um, okay. That's the central pillar. Now. The bigger layer would reach what height? The lower one would be gonna put it at this height here. Probably the same height that I had earlier. And I'm even gonna put it in a straight line, so... That's my... That's good. Welcome back, Dev. straight line I just need to follow well here that's gonna work I just need to follow the different thingies that I have at the bottom here those are the lower lower pillars here Yeah, it's going to be the base of the tower. Well, the... Uh, the lower part... of the tower. It's, it's the same size, it's approximately the same height as well. I didn't really check the height that it was at earlier. Um... gonna be a straight line. Either kind of a larger balcony area, or maybe just a 
smaller tower sticking out. The thing is, that pillar here is super tall. Like, if I don't put anything inside here, it's going to look a bit weird. So I could either lower it or leave it like that, just sticking out like that. Or uh, make something else here. There could be, yeah, like a second tower, but there's going to be like a bridge somewhere, somewhere around here, maybe. Um, now let's look at... Uh, also, this pillar, I don't like where it's placed. I'd like this pillar a bit better if it was placed... A like a block or two that way. That'd be better, but it, nah, it's not that big of a deal. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Um, I just need to look the height where I'm gonna put the second or the end of the second layer. About that height. Uh, that's exactly the same. I kind of, again, forgot to talk. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of want the middle part here to be a bit more indented towards the middle, towards the, the tower itself. Like, even here. Needs to be a bit closer than that. I like it. Um, okay, you know what? I pick the same one here. But I'm gonna put it like that. I'm gonna make it a bit easy, or a bit easier to use the command.
Oof. Water flowing over exposed redstone. Yeah. I, I, I get the... I get the anger. I understand that. What are, what are you working on? What are you building? A bit quiet. It's okay. I've been quiet too. I have also been quiet. I'm gonna go down here. Fill this part. Sorry if it's a bit uh, boring. I'm just making a pretty repetitive task. It would be very, very repetitive if I if I were to uh, place the blocks manually. That's good. That is good. Are you building a super concrete sand duper? Okay, uh, yeah. So, like, you made the uh, item filters and then the, uh, the, the water paths to move the items around, I assume. Kind of why I I always tr I always try to avoid using water in my redstone. It's uh, it it can cause disaster. Or I just place the water at the very end when I know everything is uh, is already uh, already finished. And like, when I know it won't spill or I will have to break blocks or anything like that. Because... This again, minus one. Um, Ninety thousand blocks an hour. Holy cow! Yeah. Dropper lines. Yeah, but they, they would have to, to to move that amount of item. They would have to go super fast and probably like be a lag fest. Hmm. 
sorry about that. I keep sneezing. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, I got allergies, yeah. I, th I, well, I hope it's allergies. Okay, being in the past, it's 1.30 here. D did I mention the time it... W I, yeah, I don't understand what you're referring to. I, I understand what you mean by being in the past, but I don't understand. I'm, I, it's okay, don't worry about that. But yeah, I got uh, I got allergies. I uh, I really need to clean my place. I kind of did half the cleaning. Holy cow, it's almost four. Wait, what? I mean, it... What? I don't remember saying that. It, it is almost four, but I... I would have just said that, but... I don't even remember what... Maybe I was talking about something else? That's funny. I'm... I'm confused. Gonna have to look at the... the playback. <laughs> That's strange. Because it is almost four. Not that I have an app, a big deadline or something. Like, I have to go to the grocery stores, uh, store, singular, eventually. Before dinner, though I could. I, I could even go after dinner. Not that big of a deal. It was it about 125? I really, I'm gonna have to um, take a note and uh, help myself too. Look back at that pizza for dinner. Um, well, I have to go. I, I could go after dinner, but I, I don't want to go like after dark. I mean, it's getting dark already, uh, but I, I don't want to go uh, like at night because I have to walk there. So, yeah, I'm gonna probably like half an hour more, something like that. Um, uh, and you need to lower all of that by at least two blocks because it looks silly. You're having pizza for dinner. Ooh, lucky you. I could order pizza. Okay, I could. I could buy a frozen pizza or something. I'm not sure. We'll see. Music has been great today, yeah. It's always the same playlist. It's about, I think it's four hours long. You can look. Uh, where would I find that information? Yeah, it's four hours, 30 minutes long. So it's kind of always the same songs, but... Uh, yeah. That's, that's one of the good ones. It's in a good spot, yeah. Well, it's randomized, so... Yeah, we just, we got lucky, I guess.
I don't even remember when I used that one. The previous one. Zazzy. Was the title of the song. Oh no, it's dark. I'm gonna get some mob spawns. Great music for playing Minecraft, yeah. <laughs> I think I uh, I used it in the the Walrus Mart last season. I made like a, a muffled version to kind of sound like uh, elevator music, like I had done for uh, I'd done that for a few songs. Kind of have a feeling of, of uh, background music played on, on bad speakers. It's one of the little details that I really liked on uh, Ripple Season 3. You know, all the places had kind of their own theme song. Uh, I get it from uh, Kevin McLeod. It's all it's all in the description. He's like the free music, copyright free music guy. Uh, he's like the the biggest name in that. Uh, I was gonna say that industry, but not. Well, yeah, I think it's an industry. The industry of uh, copyright free music. I just have to. Uh, Write his name everywhere and uh, can use it. The thing that I really like about that music is that it's, it's. Uh, I'm not sure of the right phrasing for that, but it's like heavily themed. So when when you need something for a specific occasion or something like that, so like it, it's not like big bouncy. Uh, EDM or uh, uh, or uh, what's the the name the, the one the, the style that everyone's taking now for the time lapse is uh, like um, I just have electro funk but it's not electro funk it's uh, electro swing like we hear like many people use music of, of that kind of style and it's it's not that style at all but, like for time lapses it for like a, a generic time lapse it won't really fit all that much but I think it's still still some very fun music when you uh, you have a theme you're trying to convey or a uh, a style specific style you're looking for you're guilty of using that it's all it's good music it, and it, it works there, there's a reason why people use that style it works and it, it it sounds good it's uh so yeah it, it it works there's nothing wrong with using it but sometimes it uh to me it it lacks some I don't know if I should be saying it like that it lacks a bit of flavor or it's it's easy to use like without a a uh, a uh, I just have the word flavor in in mind. It's not what I'm trying to say here. Just won't monetize your work and you'll use Eagles music. Don't you dare! I, I won't watch if you uh, if you use the Eagles music. That's just how it's gonna be. It's just what's gonna happen. Um. But yeah, as I was saying, like it's it, the electro swing and EDM music, it, it 
it's good music and it works for time lapses. There, there's a reason why people use it. But it just, to me, it won't fit with the theme of the building unless you're making like a 1920s build or a uh, retro retro build in, in a uh, 1920s style. In that case, like swing music would work. But other than that, it's just the 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 uh, like the intensity of the music that that is appealing. And to, to me, it's not the way I like making videos. That's not what's uh, central for me. So, for example, I was uh, I was trying to explain that concept to some people. Some kids that I work with uh, when I'm, I was making video games, uh, well, when I was uh, making those uh, video game projects with uh, in high schools a few, a few years ago, and um, I had like I I tried to show some examples. So like there was a uh, very uh, like it's it sounds like medieval uh, militaristic music and I was using it in a, a tiny little game that I had made where you had to just walk around and pick flowers and I think that was the other song that I was using but this one that's currently playing or it might have been another one and I was trying to show the kids that you know that the when you're picking flowers the the uh heavy snare and, and military sounding music it it won't fit but a song like that one that we're listening to currently it will fit for that uh, that situation and it didn't work they, they they just thought the other song was better so I would use that song without like any concern about what's being played <laughs> the style of the game it doesn't matter if it if it doesn't fit with the style of the game the song is better I have to use it so yeah it's it's not something that uh, many people see all that much the the feel of a song I think that's the, the the right word would be the feel of a song because that's how he classifies on the um, on his site on Kevin McLeod's site that's how he classifies the songs. It's it's by feels. So like you can have, you could have a feel action or comedy or stuff like that. So you can select a song that would be uh, most appropriate for uh, for what you're trying to to make for. <clears throat> Sorry about that. For the content that you're trying to make. Also, what's that thing here? How did that happen? <laughs> you were taking notes. <laughs> yeah. Well. You're always welcome to ask me more questions anytime. Uh, just keep in mind. Like, m my analysis might not always be the best. Uh, it, it what, it, it's what works best for what I'm trying to do. Not necessarily what works best for other objectives. <laughs> some some things will work well 
with some objectives in mind, but won't work well for others, other objectives. But with my objectives, that's that that works. Whenever you hit record, it stresses you out. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, I kind of see it. Like when I started teaching earlier this year, I had a bit of a, well, similar situation. And mo most teachers were saying, well, that that's good. Like if you don't feel that stress, it, it, again, it's, it's for teaching. It's not the exact same thing, but it's still pretty, pretty similar. But they said, like, when you don't feel that stress at, at your first class, that's when you gotta start thinking of maybe changing careers. <laughs> but yeah, th that stress is good. It's because you want to do something good. Just don't let it stop you. Just, uh, you, you have to do it. It's, uh... It won't be done by itself. If you want to do it, just do it, and the stress will end up dissipating over time. You'll you'll end up not being too too stressed for that. Uh, is that good? That's not good. I don't care for that. That's not good. Gonna remove that. Um. So we ended up kind of having the exact same shape that we had earlier, uh, but let's take a look at it from further away. Yeah, that looks cool. Um, might need to make the tower a bit bigger, and I'm gonna need to make those uh, those pillars a, a bit shorter. Like they won't really need to stick out that far, like further from the 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 base of the tower. So I'm probably. Gonna use some structure blocks for that. Uh, um, uh, what about a block that's different from what I'm using? Just to have, you know, an idea of uh, what's the scaffolding and what's just the block. Spike head, that's a good name for that. Uh, that would be... Five? Let's go for seven. Uh, height would be twelve and seven here. So what do you want to record? Is it on the, the other server or... Single player, or in what kind of content do you want to start recording? Usual SMP stuff. Or... Wow, got the height right. However, I'm gonna need to make it. I'm gonna put it at thirty, just so it. Just so it erases the top yeah that's better Okay, yeah, mostly single player, but uh, 
the projects you do on on the other server. Head. I feel like that was not the right word. Okay. Say. You're the only one working on the other server right now. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, I, I totally get what you mean. Uh, the kind of uh, formula of here's the build. Here's or here's the the objective. Here's the build, and uh, now it's done. I totally get that. That's not the right word. <laughs> uh, be careful with that. That is not the right spelling. <laughs> you had you have to switch the O and the I. It's uh, that's different. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's it's a very typical mistake that people make. Don't worry about it. Oh right, because it's a it's a musical instrument, right? Yeah. Don't worry about that. As I said, it's a very, very typical mistake. I don't really get offended by mistakes. Did I 
actually save it. Ah. Got a hair in my eye. Yeah, that works. That works a bit better. I just have to figure out how I'm gonna integrate snow and ice into that build, but I think it's just gonna be like flat surfaces for the snow. With the, uh, the typical droop, droopiness. Here. Oops. Extend it outwards. Like, that's always. Always a good style. Um, nope. No, that's no balls. No layers. stone Okay, okay, that works. That's good. Now... Um... Try to stop chatting. Be more careful, yeah. Yeah, you know, accidents happen. They just do, sadly. Um, I think that for this part, it's gonna be a bit more like slanted, like going up, like that.
and what about this here? Let's just lower it a tiny bit. That. Eventually, I'm gonna work on the shape a bit more, uh, or not, because I was gonna say I'm gonna work on the shape more with some stairs and slabs. But now that I think of it, I might not do that because uh, I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna add some snow and some ice and all of that. So you were saying earlier you're using um, waterways to uh, to move the items around, uh, but you said that you were not sure how you, you would use like dropper chains. But are dropper chains more efficient at transporting transporting items? Because I'm 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 really not. I I don't work with like item transportation systems all that much and then uh, like automatic farms and I, I don't really deal with those or I don't deal with those all that much so I'm not uh I don't know but I eat a lot of uh, stuff I'm, I'm not up to date, that's the word I was looking for. I'm not up to date with, uh... With uh, the current state of the, uh, the technology that we have. Okay, yeah, yeah. It all depends on, on the the balance between how much lag the entities are gonna cause versus how much lag the uh, the transport system itself is gonna cause. Yeah, it's it's really not a part that I'm uh, all well. It's not a part that I'm all that interested in. I mean, it's it's cool that people like that, but I uh, I don't really look into that stuff all that much. The farm that was uh, that when loaded dropped the TPS to nine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I've I've seen uh, some of those uh, crazy frog light farms in action, and yeah, they can produce a lot. <laughs> like you run it for one hour, and your server is set. You will never need any more frog lights ever for the the whole duration of the server <laughs> 10 double chests of shulker boxes of frog lights yeah i can see why that that would be considered enough 
Yeah. Yeah, that that's the thing that like and I'm again I'm not not judging or anything, but that I I, I just don't I don't get. Like Like Megu was really like that, and it's uh, I'm talking about Megu on, on the Ripple Effect server. He he really was into like creating big farms, but never really using them because you get more than you'll you'll ever use. And I understand the idea of trying to um, make the biggest farm, but beyond just because we can, I uh, yeah I, I don't know I, it. it doesn't it doesn't work all that much for me uh yeah speaking of Magoo I haven't talked to that that dude in a while wonder how he's doing I haven't really even seen him active in any of the uh the other discords where I uh that we have in common. Uh, this needs to go a bit lower. Yeah, the challenge of coming up with... Yeah, that, that's something I totally understand. But still, like... I don't know. The, it, it, to me, it kind of feels like... The amount of, of effort... And I mean, I, I still... I get it. But I don't get it at the same time, I guess. But yeah. The, the, the amount of effort in coming up with something that's gonna produce so much that it's gonna be used for one hour and you'll just waste everything else is kind of I don't know it's uh it's it's not something that really talks to me all that much it's not the kind of uh the kind of uh, of challenge that I that I usually look for Then again, I've made mini games on servers where people weren't really that active, and I, I made mini games that were never played or were rarely played, and I still enjoyed making them. So I, all I said was just uh, completely irrelevant moot point. Storage tech, okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, as I said, I'm I'm not not judging. I just hadn't figured out what part of what I do like it relates the most to to that kind of uh that kind of work, or that that kind of, uh, of playstyle. That kind of playstyle, that playstyle, is already a complete sentence. Well, I mean, building things that look nice. Anyone can build things that look nice. You just have to like understand what your what you what what your style means. I think yeah, th that's the best way I could say it. Hmm. 
Okay, so it has to detect that there are items. And then the hoppers will unlock. That's cool. Do <laughs> you have kind of an, an item detector before the item filters? But yeah, uh, just to get back on the uh, the building style part that you you, you were talking about, but uh, I'd say that it's it's mostly a matter of finding your own style and and perfecting it. Like it's it's something I had to again with the the job about uh, creating video games with themes, but like. Many of them thought they were like bad at drawing. They wouldn't draw because yeah, no, I'm I'm bad at, at drawing. I can draw, but it's not exactly that you're bad at drawing. It's that you you're bad at drawing what you want to draw. But if you like, if you look at what you're able to draw, and you you find like what style fits well with these. These, uh, these drawings or these uh, capabilities that you have, then you'll be able to make stuff that uh, that looks good. I don't know if it makes sense the way I'm, I'm saying it. Kind of like, people say they're bad at drawing because they're trying to draw hyper-realistic stuff when they should be trying to draw something else. Or in, in another way, in a like if you look at I don't know Picasso, his his drawings were, and I'm I'm pretty sure he was good at drawing, but his his drawing were not like that. Uh, re well, they were absolutely not realistic, and like there are things like hey, even my my kid could draw something like that, and uh, you hear those those. Phrases being said sometimes, but like, sure, it's about the idea more than it's about the the talent and the um, the, uh, the um, the aesthetic and uh, the the exact exactness exactitude of the drawing. Like, if you want to draw something that, like, looks exactly like real life, well, sure, go ahead, but you don't have to. You can try and drawing something different. And I, I think that this can, uh, can also, you know relate to uh, build styles and things like that. And mostly the, the, the number one lesson to take to, to become good at drawing or building or anything is do it. Just you, you won't learn by watching. There's, there's almost nothing you learn by watching. I, I often say it to my uh, my math students, but you you don't learn math with your ears. You learn math with a pencil or, or or pen or whatever. But yeah, that's uh, I think an important lesson that uh, a lot of people need to need to hear, and not enough people put into action or get uh, demotivated because the first attempt didn't work the the the, 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 like the the first attempt like you have to give yourself room to make mistakes and then to you you can't improve without making any mistakes anyway it's my uh 
attempt at wisdom when it comes to learning. sure what I'm gonna build. I said I wanted to build like another little structure so at first I kind of had another kind of tower sticking out. When you first played Minecraft back in 1.2. Old man. Old man dev. When I first started playing Minecraft in 1.2. <laughs> yeah. Redstone is kind of what you play. Play the game. Yeah, then that's the great thing about this game. Is how much... How many ways you can play the game. Stop playing in 1.2, yeah. Yeah, I, um... I stopped playing... No, I, I never really stopped playing. The, the one time I stopped playing was because I didn't have a computer that could run the game. But then I got another one, so I... I could start playing again. And all of that. Yeah, sorry, I'm... I just saw this spike in the distance, and it's absolutely ugly. Here. That's better. It just needed that one block. Um... Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Uh, I think that the ice could be used to make kind of... Well, a bit similar to all the other bits of ice that I've used, like for example here. Picking out... Uh... Fell out of place. Oh, everyone is great at building. Well, I mean, it, it depends. Just... I'm gonna say something mean. No, I shouldn't say that. No, I won't say that. That would that would just be uh No. But like not not everyone builds great looking things, even on on bigger servers. Like it, someone's worth on this server isn't just through the, the aesthetic of what they build. I don't consider myself a good builder. I, I think I I build some some nice things, but I like, it's never through comparing yourself to others that, that you're gonna evolve and, and get better and all of that. Like, that's... that's the, um... Th there's a, um, a saying that I've heard and... I'm not saying that specifically to you in, in that phrasing, but... Like, be the dumbest person in the room. Surround yourself by people that... In, in, in that case, that, that are smarter or whatever being smarter actually means. We could talk for a long time about that, but... Yeah. Don't don't feel bad about being the, the dumbest person in the room or something like that. Being surrounded by people that do some things 
or that you feel do some things better than you. Just learn from them, collaborate with them, do do stuff to to learn from them and to grow. You know. Like don't don't wait until you're you feel like you're great to 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 uh, interact with people you feel are are better than you. That's the other way around. It, it just it's the that reasoning goes the wrong way around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and as as i said don't it's it's always easier to look at what you do through a a, a rougher lens through a more like critical lens to, uh, like what I, what i do with like everything i do sucks and all of the all of those bad mentalities but it's not useful to think like that. There's there's no there's nothing to gain from that. And it's not even true. Like if if you want to compare yourself, if you absolutely need to compare yourself, compare yourself to someone who's worse than you. You know, it 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 works too. It it, it can work the other way around as well. <laughs> It doesn't have to be just one way. But yeah, you're talking about Ripple and, and I get what you mean. But there were people on Ripple whose like build styles and it, it's it's not an attack, but whose build style I didn't like. I'm not gonna name names because this that, that would that wouldn't be uh, constructive in any way shape or form and I'm I'm sure that my build style there were some people who thought I build um, not so pretty things and that's totally fine because we all have our own play style and our, our own build style and all of that there's nothing wrong with that And again, I'm not saying that like the the, the really the, the point that I'm that I want to put the emphasis on is uh, I know that my build style <clears throat> some people didn't didn't like it, and that's perfectly fine with me. And I'm even gonna go as far as saying there are some people who are considered grid builders and I, I see why they are considered grid builders, but I don't like what they build. And again, it's not by lack of talent or, or anything like that, it's just the style isn't what I like. So I... Uh, it doesn't... It's not like what I I like and it means nothing about them. But we're kind of going a bit further away from the the subject itself. Don't don't be intimid intimidated by other people. Just because you like what they do doesn't mean you can do something good. Uh, 
I'm trying to just put one last little spiky thingy here. Nope. Um, well, it's 4.30, I'm gonna have to go, gonna have to end soon, because as I said, well, now it's dark outside, probably not that cold, but it's dark outside and I really gotta go to buy some groceries, because I'm gonna need to feed myself and I can't just order food every day. That's not gonna work. Um, I can't leave that little spike being like all ugly like that. I gotta make it look better. What could I do? Sorry, trying to explain the build. I don't get what you mean. But anyway, yeah. So that's gonna be it for today. Oops, wrong button. I don't remember my buttons anymore. So thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.